Hello there everyone, I'm Red Chair Gaming and we need to talk about Hedwig. So I've had this topic of talking about what Hedwig means for quite some time. My English teacher said that both Hedwig and Dobby's deaths meant nothing because they were just meant to get readers to feel something. I have to strongly disagree. People could go and talk about Dobby forever and I'm gonna let them because I'm here to talk about Hedwig because I love Hedwig and I feel bad for Hedwig's misrepresentation because she was so much more important than just being the owl that died. If you're not that familiar with what happens in Harry Potter, well, you should probably start watching them like right now. Harry gets Hedwig as his absolute first birthday present. Hagrid gets Hedwig for Harry in Diagon Alley the first time that he ever visits Diagon Alley. It's his first link to the magical world and as he starts getting away from the magical world, it's always Hedwig that helps him keep in touch. Hedwig doesn't provide much in the way of like story plotline sort of stuff for quite a bit of the novels. And the next time that we sadly see Hedwig really stand for something, it's in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and you all know what she stood for. And if you're not aware what she's all about, I'm here to tell you. So I've already mentioned that Hedwig died and loads of people think that her death was meaningless, which is so uncalled for because I don't call anyone else's death meaningless. You know, you can't just say those things. I know it's a fictional owl, but Hedwig is real in here, in here, out here, not really. When Harry's leaving Privet Drive, it is him saying goodbye to the muggle world. And he still had a way to come back, you know? I mean, when everything settled down, he could just go back and it would be normal, right? No, because Hedwig symbolized the fact that he will never be able to go back. So when Hedwig is hit with the killing curse, that is the death of Harry's innocence. Like, Harry is no longer a child. He has no connection to his 11-year-old self. He's not taking his pet back to Hogwarts. He's not sending it to his friends from a whole other world. Harry is permanently part of that world. He is part of being a grown-up. He is part of being an adult. And that's just the major thing. They can't just throw it all out because they want to say that JK Rowling was lazy and wanted to make money off of killing people because she didn't because Hedwig was an owl that everyone thought was just an owl and Hedwig meant so much more than just being an owl and I admire the way that JK Rowling handled that but that's the major thing about Harry Potter is everywhere you look there's a symbol even if there doesn't seem to be one you're just not looking hard enough and I think that's an absolutely beautiful thing about the story because we can just keep on looking more and more. So that's all I wanted to discuss. I just wanted to have a really lengthy rant about Hedwig and what she meant because I've been hearing more and more people say that Hedwig's death was meaningless and there was Harry Potter weekend and Hedwig's death just affects me. And I had to express that. So thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. If you want me to talk about any other Harry Potter characters and hear me get emotional about fictional characters, then go right ahead because I love doing that. It's part of my life. So I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.